everyone, and welcome to App or Crap, the channel that does numerous weekly app reviews from mobile games to just about anything else. If you wish to download any of the apps you see here, the link will be in the description. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to App or Crap, please feel free to do so to get updated on our newest content. So now, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, welcome to App or Crap. Today, we are actually going to be reviewing a little bit different of a game, and we're going to be reviewing Pop the Lock. So pretty much this is a really simple game, um, and the point is to tap the to basically tap when you see that red line, hit the yellow dot or the star. Um, we'll get onto the stars later, but basically the point is to time it with the yellow dot to where your red bar touches that yellow dot at some point in time. Um, I'm not the best at this game, as you can see I'm up to level 46. As for where the dots spawn, they usually spawn within the same like half hemisphere. Um, half a sphere basically and the distances between them can always change it seems like though if um, like granted they rotate in different positions the distances are pretty much the same after every turn so overall um, you can see how this could be like an easy like leisure gameplay kind of thing but other than that it's about it I am really wish I can get past 40 at one point in time like geez as you see here, it has a Santa hat, because right now I'm actually recording um, in January, so it still has like the Christmas theme to it. So, let's actually get on to what the actual stars do. So, as you can see, occasionally, a star, if one wants to spawn, spawns right there. And if you actually tap on it, then you get a point for it. So, as you can see there, but then if you want to get that star, you actually have to go past it. So, you have to tap it, and then move on to the yellow one. Hopefully, I can actually do that for you guys. Honestly, it's kind of a big challenge that they added on, which makes it really difficult. I don't have the best hand-eye coordination, so if someone like really wants to do it, you know, perps to you, because I'm not really that good at it. So as you can see here, if you press the, I actually press the star in the top right corner, as you can see, you can actually change the hats. Um, currently, I only have the Santa one, because that's what it kind of came with. Uh, but other than that, you can unlock other ones uh, by having a certain amount of points. You can see the middle button at the top. You can also check out the score compared to everyone else, um, again, which is really nice. On the leaderboards, you can click it, and you can see what you are ranked compared to everyone else. I've hit 44. Apparently, the record is 213. So out of 6.7 million players, I am actually at the top 560,000. Honestly, I didn't think I was that good at that game, so I'll take that. As for challenges, there are none. And then as for achievements, there are some achievements. Um, not much, but pretty much it just goes up by increments of 10 of how many that you unlocked. As you can see, the highest I've gotten is um, 46. As for settings, there aren't any. I don't know even why there is a setting button. It doesn't work for me. Um, oh, there it goes. So you can do uh, the remove ads, which, um, again, it's about a dollar. So you can remove all ads from the gameplay. You can restore that later. And you can actually move back to levels. So I'm actually going to go back to level one for you all, just, to see, just so you guys can actually see what the gameplay is like from the beginning. So here we are at level one. And as you can see, once you beat the level, the lock, the hat goes up. So, at the beginning, it is a fairly easy game. Um, I would recommend it. Again, super simple. Um, great for leisure gameplay if you're just, like, waiting in line for something. Maybe it is something that you can show off to your friends. Be like, hey, I got up to level 48 or whatever. But other than that, really simple gameplay. I would highly recommend it. And as you can see, the ads don't pop up too often. And if they do, they typically have the X button in the top left corner. Super easy to get rid of. So other than that, um, this is Popper Lock, and I highly recommend it. So if you guys want to check it out, go ahead. And lastly, I would also like to say thank you to the subscribers. Last night we actually reached 19 total subscribers. I thank you for that. Let's hope. Let's see if we can get up to 25 by um, Monday. If I can get up to 25 by Monday, that would actually mean a lot to me, because Tuesday I start school again. So if we can please reach 25, that would be awesome. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, just tell everybody. Um, also with the lighting, sorry, the lighting's a little weird. Um, recording at an awkward time of the day so you can see like the light coming through the blinds and the lighting setup is kind of weird but thank you again and please make sure to subscribe uh, for more content if you haven't already and until next time this is app or crap